All right, getting out of my hotel now. Let's just get a free, free drink before we head out to explore Hualien. Not a bad hotel at all. This is a lounge area. I was just sitting here before I could check in. We saw the snacks provided by the hotel. We have like, I'm gonna try all of this later. Pineapple cake, milk biscuits, and quinoa. Oh, so many things to try. What are these? They look interesting. Some sort of like red cubes. All right, let's start our tour with the red cube. Hey. I'm not really sure what that is. This one? No. This one is this one. Oh yeah. It's a light candy. It's a candy? Yeah, it's protein. Oh, it's like a candied meat? Yeah, it's a soy um soy soy milk. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Soy milk. Okay. So, soybean. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. And uh, this one is uh, pineapple cake. Oh uh, oh yeah. I've had this in Tai Chi. <laughs> it's the same yeah. thing, right? Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Yeah. But the pineapple is a little different from Taichung. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. It's more regional. Sweet. Yeah. Ah, okay. So many things to try out. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> thank you. Alright, let's go explore. Let's try our pineapple cake. Apparently, it's sweeter than the one in. No entry. No? Ah, let's see. After midnight. Let's try the pineapple cake. But uh, Hualien has his special treats here too. Like one of them is like a sort of like a bun, um, which we are going to try out now. Let's try the pineapple cake first. Mmm, nice. I don't actually remember the taste of it when I had. I tasted it in Taicheng. But, really nice. I like that in, Ta in Chinese sweets, Taiwanese sweets, especially here. I had, had like a one or two Chinese cakes before. But I like that these sweets are like not really, really sweet like the Indian ones. All right. There are like all sorts of like hawker stalls around, around here. And then we'll try, we'll eat our way through. We'll also try goose meat, which I haven't actually tried in my life. So I'll be the first one. And apart from the bun that I was talking to you about, there's the Kuali and mochi, like rice balls cake. That that is famous here in Hawaii. I'll try that one as well. And there's also a night market in the evening. We'll try out all that. There is there's a scallion pancake that I want to try. And there's a toast, coffee toast, which is kind of special. I, ha I had a look at the images like a toast with the fillings inside. Savory. So I want to try that one that as well. So, so it's going to be an interesting day. This is the bus stop where I go down for my hotel. If you're wondering what the hotel name is, it's called Roder's Hotel. It's right in downtown. The one before that I was staying in an Airbnb, uh, not an Airbnb, a homestay. That was um, that's a night market over there. The homestay was a bit further out, but near to the train station. If you want to go to like Taroko, Gorge. Yeah. All right, I think that's the one, the yellow one over there. So right now we are in Hualien. We're going to try uh, 
Huali and mochi. Mochis are like rice balls, rice cakes. I only have had that only once in my lifetime. So this will be my second time. Uh, the first one was in Malaysia. So apparently, here is a famous shop for mochi. But is there a place to sit down inside and eat? That's the question. Maybe not. Hello, Neo. Is it this? Yeah. Yeah, it's one. Ah, okay. What will I eat? Neo. No, oh, is this where you... This is the mochi section, okay. Peanut. Mochi, sesame. Original. I don't like taro, so... Probably good. I'm gonna try the mochi... Alright, let's get a... Let's get a thing. This looks empty, so that must be popular. And peanut. Alright. Oh, let's try the sesame as well. No, not sesame. Mochi red bean. Can pay by card? Okay. Okay. Bye bye. All right, we do have other stuff here as well. Some kind of rusk. Sweet potato chips. All right, I'll be hitting this shop later for for snacks. Just walking distance from my hotel. So, next stop is let's go get the uh, get the buns. Look at the colorful BMW. There are a few buildings in this uh, design from the old Japanese colonial era, I suppose. This place is built for tourism. Right, I hope the place we are going to try the buns, it is open. It looks like open. In the night, it is always crowded. I was here yesterday and I noticed this shop. So there's two of them. I don't know what the difference is. One of them is a bun, I think. And one of them is a dumpling place. I'm not sure. There's another one here. There's a space to, small space to sit down. Inside. So this is the one I want to try out, I think. Right, I think uh, I'll try this one first because this looks a bit more popular. Nia, excuse me. Same? This one and that? That's okay. You don't know. Okay. This one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna take it take it to go and head to my hotel to try it out. And then we'll head to that goose place. You speak English? Do you speak English? Is it the same? They all both shops are same or they sell different things? Just the Xiaong Bao. This is the bun, right? The bao yes. bao. And the 
Ah, okay, tea. Yoga tea. Ah, okay. Green tea. Okay, okay. Tea. And that shop different. Uh, that that shop. The same. Ah, uh, the same. The same. Uh, uh, different. Okay, okay. Shishi. It's better? Ah, okay, okay. So that's why longer queue. <laughs> in Taiwan. Not in Bali, in Taiwan. In Taiwan. Mm. It's the best one in Taiwan. Yeah, that's what I heard. I saw it in map. Like, uh, go... Gongzhen... Gongzhen Bao. Ah, Gongzhen Bao. Yeah, Bao. Yeah. It's called Gongzhen Bao. Gongzhen Bao. Oh, the middle one. Ah, Gong Gong Chen Bao. The blue one. No, 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 no. Gong Chen Bao. Ah, the or the orange one. Gong Chen. No, no, no. No. Not that one. Gong Chen Bao. Ah, like Chen Xiao Xiao Bao Tang Bao. This this one. Ah, okay, okay, okay. It's a different one. It's only takeaway, no sitting. Can I get one? Gong Chen Bao? One? Uh, ten. Is it like a smaller? Smaller? Is there a small? One piece five dollar. One piece is five dollar. One fifty for. One piece. Just one piece, five dollars. Ah, okay. Maybe okay, I can get like three. Okay. Three? Yeah. So, is there is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's fifty. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Small is the same thing, but I've been just told that that one is better. Uh, but yeah, still a lot more to eat. So I think uh, because our hotel is very near, I'm just going to go back to the hotel and try these things out before heading out again. Wow, that is super cheap. Like, 10 is like $50. So, <laughs> yeah, this is super cheap. Yeah. If I like it, I'll come again later. So, here is a, like a small street that we walked through yesterday. I'm not sure whether I'm going to upload that video, but. Uh, there's all kinds of like garments and uh, shoes and jewelry shops. I really like the design of some buildings here. Look at that. And the one over there with the uh, cute faces, Mr. Turon. I have only been outside for like 15 minutes. I am sweating. That's how, that's how hot it is outside. Normally I try to avoid going out in the morning. Well, it's like four o'clock. Three to four, that's when I venture out because that's the heat is tolerable then. I used to do that in the, for the first few days, I used to go out in the morning as well, but then I just got really, really tired. So this is my strategy now. Go explore around three to four. Wow, this is actually really hot. Let's try the Gongzhen Bao. Apparently, according to the lady, this is the best in the whole of Taiwan. All right. Maybe a cousin of Xiaolong Bao. 
the thing that I had in um, Ding Tai Fung in Taipei. But there's no soup so much, but it's more like a bun rather than a dumpling. This is actually a proper bun. Uh, there is actually a little bit of like soup that I just spilled because I thought it would be like a proper pork bun, but there is actually a little bit of soup. Mm. There is pork inside. Ooh, pretty nice. What I like most about this is that uh, there's the sweetness of the flour. Rice, I believe. Combine that with the pork flavors. Really nice. The second one. I need to be careful this time. I didn't spill any. Hmm. So hardly, I'd probably go back and buy more, but I only bought three this time because I'm a little bit hungry, but I do want to try out a different, different things as well. So we'll be heading out soon to try the goose. Chinese food is actually really delicious, Taiwanese food. I think uh, things change based on region, but uh, yeah, let's try the mochi. Ooh, there's three flavors. I actually forgot there were three. All right, this one is the peanut one, I think. The yellow one, if I remember correctly. Ooh, it's just covered in flour. So it'd probably be, I hope it does, it's not really like super sweet. Mojis tend to be not that sweet, but it's covered in flowers. It's like a hassle if you have any have a beard. Mmm. Very peanutty. I wonder. The you know I said that uh, I'm having mochi for a second time. I wonder the sticky one that I had in Jaofen was also a mochi. Was it also a mochi? The girls bought it for me, so I don't know. It was peanut powder with a little bit of sugar mixed in. And that is wrapped in the sort of like this dumpling. A lot of the food that are popular, like dumplings and a lot of these sweets, are like flour outside and filling inside. Now I actually kind of wonder that the concept of like sandwiches and stuff like that were actually be originated from this, like the burgers and stuff like that, originated from whether that originated from this region. Like I'm noticing a lot of, I just built up my, all right, let's, uh, anyway, you get the point. What is this? I don't really remember. It's either the red one or the, We'll see. Mm. The red bean one. I think I like this one better than the peanut one. All right. How's my beard looking? We have to shave. Take a shower after this. The third one. I don't remember what this was. Again. No, oh, it's a bit more chunkier. Yellow. I don't know what it is or for, but the red one is my favorite, I think. What is this one? I don't know. All right, I made a mess here. So 
I need to wait for like half an hour more to for that restaurant to open. So let's get a drink maybe.